I'm going to show you the best trips tight end defense in Madden 22 in the next five minutes. What's good, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And in this video, we are talking about the Nickel 335 Odd. Now, the Nickel 335 Odd is the ebook that I actually released in Madden 22 uh, as my first defense of the year. I think that it has stood the test of time and is still the best defense to consistently get pressure in this game. And so I wanted to do a video today talking a little bit specifically about a blitzing concept that you can use from this formation that is very effective against the trips tight end. Now, I, I have talked about this before, but I believe that the trips tight end is one of the best offenses in this game. And so uh, if you want to get the entire 335 odd defensive ebook, I'd encourage you to join my Patreon membership. Uh, by joining the Patreon membership, you're going to get instant access to every single guide that I release in the Madden 22 season. Uh, so make sure to join that. There's a link in the description below. We've already released 13 ebooks, and I've got four more that I'm planning to release within the next uh, month or so and so really really excited to bring that content to you so again if you want to get access to all of it go ahead and grab that by clicking the link in the description below the blitzing concept we're going to talk about today is out of the nickel 335 odd and we're going to be covering the lb cross three show two and the way that this blitz is going to work is very simple as far as the setup goes all we're going to do is we are going to spread our line and we're going to crash our defensive line down. Lastly, what we want to do is want to create a cover two on the trip side. That's just going to help top, stop uh, tight end streaks, snap throws, that kind of stuff. And then with our user here, uh, I like to go ahead and stand kind of right in this area. And what you're going to see is pretty much regardless of the play concept, you're typically going to get either a looping pressure through the A-gap or pressure off the edge. Let me show you that one more time here. Obviously, we're blocking our running back here to try to make it a little bit more difficult. But again, we're going to kind of stand kind of right in here. You just want to run down uh, and to the right. And as you see how fast that comes in, um, that pressure comes in off of that right side. Now, the beauty of this is, let's say, for example, that they send five out. Um, this is going to absolutely scream at them if they decide to do that. So again, there's your setup. Very simple. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to see the pressure is going to scream over the A-gap and off of the edge. Now, uh, again, I said just spread your line. You can also crash your defensive line. Just crash them to uh, the trips tight ends or like the trips receiver side. Um, the reason you might want to do that and make sure you pass commit is because a lot of the trips tight end money plays this year, they utilize play action blocking. And by utilizing play action blocking, occasionally it can kind of glitch the uh, the blitzing concept. I'm going to show you one more concept at the end of the video too to kind of combat the play action stuff. Uh, but again, what you're going to see here, this is play action blocking. And as you can see there, uh, actually got picked up on that right side. But for the most part, this blitz is going to be fairly successful. Now, another concept that a lot of people have started to do out of the trips tied in is basically what they're doing is they're utilizing and leveraging the power of their tight end as a blocker. And so they're going to motion this running back out. What you're going to see is this blitzing concept, by and large, will do decent uh, against that. This is, again, why I like to create kind of a cover two style uh, of defense. But what you're going to see here is this A-gap pressure should come in if they do that. Um, this is another reason why I like this blitz. I find that this looping pressure um, from number 22 there in the middle it does a really good job at coming in consistently, especially if they block their tight end and they don't block their running back. So yeah, we get this kind of double team and then that looping A-gap pressure comes right through the middle. Now, the other thing that's really good about trips tied in is some of the alignment things that we can do within our three through five odds. So what, another way that you can kind of run this, since this guy Williams is already blitzing, I'm just going to slide him out here just like this. And then I'm going to QB contain. What you're going to see is it's going to create this kind of concept right here. And now again, is again, it's the same thing. It's a five man pressure. Uh, but what you're going to see now is we've got double contains off of both edges. And for the most part, that contain on the right will almost always be able to glitch out the running back if the running back is blocking. And then if they were to send five out, what you're going to see is again, spread your line, crash your line down. Uh, and then you're just going to QB contain here. Let me show you that one more time. So you slide this guy off the edge uh, and QB contain him. You're kind of hovering right in here. Now, if they send five out, you should get severely uh, heavy pressure. So guys, that is a little bit about the 335 odd as it pertains to the trips tied in. If you want to learn the entire 
335 odd defense. I would really encourage you to sign up for my Patreon membership. Again, by joining the Patreon, you're going to get immediate access to every ebook that I've released so far this year. If you want to sign up for that, there's a link down in the description. Just click that and we'll get you all set up uh, as a Patreon member.